we compared the average monthly number of passengers traveling from Wuhan to major international destinations with the number of COVID-19 cases that have been detected overseas. Based on these data, we then estimate the number of cases that are undetected globally and find that approximately two-thirds of the cases might be undetected at this point. confirmed cases and over 2,300 deaths. New cases particularly in Italy, South Korea and Iran have caused number of cases and deaths worldwide to spike in the last couple of days. Even the global market has felt the effects causing investors to fear a global economic slowdown. Unlike the virus which is travelling far and wide, residents here are most certainly not. A dozen towns and villages cut off. 50,000 people are wondering which of their neighbours could be infected. Olivier and Pinuccia are among those quarantined. They've been locked in their house for two days, not allowed to cross this ditch. The police and freedom the other side. What's it like in there? Sembra di essere in clausura. It's like a closed off prison, she says. But we have to face the situation. Are you angry? We are very angry, he adds. They didn't take the situation seriously. Six people have died and the number of cases doubled in just over 24 hours. In Lodi Hospital, just a few miles away, both patients and a doctor have caught it. In Casal Pustalengo, in the middle of the danger zone, in the middle of the day, life has seemingly stopped. Indeed, all across the region, schools, cinemas, theatres and churches are shut. The authorities, though, insist Italy is safe. We have pinpointed two areas in our country, said the head of Italy's civil defence, and we have intervened with significant measures, and so we believe that there is safety in our country, and people can come here serenely. But in some spots where COVID-19 has been found, no restrictions are in place. There was a marathon on these very streets just 10 days ago in which the first confirmed case in the region took part. We know that he passed it on to at least one other, but authorities admit that they still haven't got round to finish testing everyone else. Other countries are spooked. France stopping this bus today arriving from Italy. Mauritius doing the same with a plane. And given that there are not enough tests in Italy for everyone that wants one, there may well be many more infections than currently known. Richard Palo, ITV News. Nimalan. The spread outside of China has the scientists worried. We are starting to see more cases reported from countries and regions outside mainland China with no known travel history or link to Wuhan City, noted co author Natsuko Imai in the statement, hence why the report demonstrates the importance of surveillance and case detection if countries are to successfully contain the epidemic. Jennifer Nuzo, an epidemiologist from Johns Hopkins University, said that. In a related news, diarrhea may be a secondary path of transmission for the novel coronavirus, according to scientists, following the publication of the latest study reporting patients with abdominal symptoms and loose stool. 
The primary path is believed to be virus-laden droplets from an infected person's cough. Though researchers in early cases have said they focused heavily on patients with respiratory symptoms and may have overlooked those linked to the digestive tract. A total of 14 out of 138 patients or 10 percent in a Wuhan hospital who were studied in the new paper by Chinese authors in the Journal of the American Medical Association or JAMA initially presented with diarrhea and nausea one or two days prior to development of fever and labored breathing. The first U.S. patient diagnosed with 2019 and COVID also experienced loose bowel movements for two days and the virus was subsequently detected in his stool and there have been other such cases in China documented in The Lancet, albeit infrequently. Jai Yu Liao, a bioengineer at the University of California, Riverside, said that based on the literature, the 2019 NCOV virus found in stool may be transmitted through fecal spread. But he added, we still do not know how long this virus can survive outside the body. HIV can only survive roughly 30 minutes outside the body and what temperature range the 2019 NCOV is sensitive to. Fecal spread could present new challenges to the virus's containment, but it's more likely to be a problem inside hospitals, which can become amplifiers of epidemics, according to David Fisman, an epidemiologist at the University of Toronto. The deadly coronavirus may be spreading through poop, according to another report published by the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention last week. Researchers were able to confirm COVID-19 patients had live viruses in stool specimens, suggesting that the virus called 2019 NCOV can be transmitted through fecal matter. The spread through only respiratory droplets and contact transmission weren't able to fill in the camp or cases of the deadly COVID-19. According to the report, nearly two searches examined other ways the virus spreads. Has been the roots of transmission, which can partially explain its strong transmission and fast transmission. A different study was able to reproduce these findings, independently finding the virus in both blood and anal swabs of COVID 19 patients that might find you. That's what you can do to minimize risk. The device remains not the same and issued by the World Organization for Health and Safety. There are strange facts surrounding the coronavirus outbreak of 2020. In 2018, the Peerbright Institute was granted a patent for the coronavirus. The Peerbright Institute is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. On October 18th of 2019, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with John Hopkins and the World Economic Forum, hosted Event 201, a high-level pandemic simulation in New York City. The simulation, which was held just three months ago, was based on the coronavirus. 
they concluded that it could kill 65 million people and decided the solution was to have a vaccine within months of an epidemic. The same week that the coronavirus makes headlines, Netflix releases the docu-series Pandemic, How to Prevent an Outbreak, wherein the solution is vaccines and the trusted hero is Bill Gates. Meanwhile, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation fund Innovio Pharmaceuticals, Inc. to develop a coronavirus vaccine. It's weird, right? Or am I just a conspiracy theorist? What about this? 5G, an emerging technology upgrade that has many countries concerned about its impact on human health. Experts from all over the world warn of the dangers of 5G. In 2018, it was reported locally that Wuhan would be the testbed city for full 5G network operation in China. The article went on to say that it would be fully operational by 2020. And on Halloween of 2019, they turned it on. Scientists warn that 5G causes flu-like symptoms. Interesting? What is also interesting is that when trying to share the link of 5G being launched in Wuhan, Facebook blocks you from doing so because it violates their community guidelines.